I stumbled into some kind of witch's coven. Best not stick around, cutie. Morbia's not playing with a full deck tonight. <laughs> I pulled the card out of my pocket. The witches seemed pleased. Thanks to you, Morbia is now playing with a full deck. We are in your debt. But do not try our patience. I will tell of the unbridled wickedness of Count Vladimir Yorchikansky. The Count is the true master of this house. To oppose him is to gamble with your life. Pick a card. I picked a card. She didn't seem happy. Luck is on your side, mortal. This much I will tell. The Count has his reasons for hating the seasons. Now go! There is some kind of laboratory just ahead. I had no idea which way to turn. I thought I heard someone coming. I tried to hide. No sense trying to hide, Mr. Spectre. I am Baron Otto der Hattie, and your name is Mud. We have ways of dealing with trespassers here. What could I do? He had a gun. Think fast, Gumshoe. You take three trips on a merry-go-round and grab seven rings each trip. What do you get? A difficult question. Very good. I could use a brain like yours in my latest experiments. Have a seat, Mr. Spectre. I had little choice. He was carrying a gun. I said, sit down. The chair looked comfy, so I sat down. The chair strapped me in automatically. In just a few minutes, your brain will be occupying that massive body. Does the concept appeal to you? Was he kidding or what? Missing girl? No, I... I think you probably want to talk to my cousin. Count... Vladimir Yorchakonsky. You know, if he hadn't persuaded me years ago to have a, a simple brain operation, I, I probably still would be working for the good of mankind in hangnail research. Baron Der Hatchet was nutty as a fruitcake. No matter. Let the experiment begin. <laughs> it's hard to describe what happened next. Imagine a half ton of moldy pizza coming to life before your very eyes. I lived through this, I was going to need a new suit. I broke free just in time to be grabbed by the monster. My punches didn't seem to affect him much. While the monster giggled, the lab continued to fill with smoke. I looked around for a means of escape. A sledgehammer sat on a ledge below a gas mask in the corner. I couldn't budget, but Larry Lugnut hoisted the huge hammer without popping a stitch. The machine looked ready to explode. I hadn't a moment to lose. I clambered out the open window as fast as I could. The ladder beside the window led to the roof.